Okay, Carrie, can you can you can you introduce us, please? Um, hello, <laughs> Persian Dacia. Oh, yeah. Um, Mir Savini to welcome. Learn Albanian Online. Yep. Mir Savini to Learn Albanian Online. Welcome to Learn Albanian Online. And um, uh, my yeah. name is Elson. I'm Elson. I'm from 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 Elson. Person that I un shoot him carry un um ga uh, America na Montana uh -huh. uh, 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 un uh, poem a story ship that the uh, uh, me pelchen shum uh, ju hat a huaya uh -huh. the un kam shoku un ga or na na ga shiparia <laughs> okay. Yeah, and I'm going to Albania in October and November of this year. Okay, perfect. Um, do not forget the verb to be. You always forget I am Did from. Did I do that again? Uh, come. No. No, to come. yam. <laughs> you forgot that. You forgot that. Un yam nga America nga Montana. Double nga. Nga Montana nga America. Persandetje Gloria. Si eni nga eni. Persandetje un yamir ve yamga bulgaria por tani bonoi na angli de punoi na angli e dua tam so chip se se duha chipem por chen shum de muzika chipem mo por chen shum de dua ta komunikoi me a chita okay aha Mir, Shumir. Un and doi seti e flet Shumir, por je gjith mone mi pritur në mësime të mia. Ok? Did you understand me? Me kuptove? A, po. Mir, ok. Dhe një gjithë tjetër duhet të shohësh Game of Thrones sa më shpejt. Matt, si e? Mir, un jam Matt. Un jam nga Amerika, në New Yorku. Nga New Yorku, po? Unë po mësoj Shqip sepse gruaja ime është Shqiptare. është Shqiptare, shumë mirë. Have you ever been to Albania? Po. Did you like Albania? Po, shumë mirë. Shumë. Will you come back? Will you visit soon or when? Yes, next year is the plan. Okay, next year. Great then, Shumir. Përshën dhe tje Elvira. Përshën dhe tje. Pjeni. Shumir. Tje është familja jote. Përmëgjerit, Shumir. Nga vjen mirë, pëse të shiron të nësë Shqip? Pëse i e këtu? Sëpse unë punoj në Tiran. Ti punoj në Tiran, Shumir. Të pëlqen Tirana? Unë me pëlqen Tirana shumë. Të pëlqen. Se të pëlqen? Êshtë qytet i mirë? Êshtë qytet i mirë. Êshtë qytet i gjushme. Gjushme, noisy, ok. Po? Mirë. Tjetër, tjetër, Lenson. Përshëndet e Lenson. Daniel, you can write your introduction in the chat box. Ok, Daniel, you can write it there. Ok, you wrote it, perfect. Lenson, përshëndet e, where are you from? Përshëndetje, unë që hënë lëndësëm, unë janë në nga Tajvani, unë janë një zë desë vjeqë, mësoj Shqipë, sepse shumë më plëqenë Shqipëria. Të plëqenë Shqipëria, I'm glad. Do you have any plans when to come here or not yet? Like, I'm planning, but I don't have the concrete time yet, so hopefully in the future. Okay, yeah, perfect. We have some viewers from YouTube. Thank you for watching. In a few seconds, I will start screen sharing for you all. Um, Daniel says, Daniel's microphone is not working, so he says, Përshëndeti jam nga Bulgaria, më bëllqen shumë muzika shqiptare, kam shok nga Shqipria dhe nga Kosova, nga Bulgari jam në suesi si gjuhë Shqipe. Ok, perfect, shumë mirë. Uh, falim deri që u bashkove me ne, thank you for joining. Now, I will send the link for Elvira, Elvira just joined, so you can open it. For those who are watching live on YouTube, you can download the document in the video description below, you have the link there. 
Uh, and for those who cannot open it, I will screen share in a few seconds. Let me know if you can all see my screen or if you can open the document. Can you all access it? Yes. OK, do you like the design? Anything? OK, let's start. Today we will talk, <laughs> we'll still talk about the verbs. Uh, we have been talking about verbs that's, that, um, start, that end in ye, which is the most common class. Um, and we talked also about reflexive verbs the other time that end in M. Uh, today we are going to talk about verbs that end in a consonant, except Y and M, because we already talked about those, so except those, and because they form a class themselves, a category. We are going to talk about the present, com present uh, simple and continuous tense, and we have an exercise at the very end of the document. If you have any questions, you can interrupt me anytime. I can repeat it again and again, all over. And uh, let's go to the second slide. There are several types of verbs. We talked about verbs that end in ye, verbs that are reflexive verbs, or those that end in m. Um, and today we are going to talk about verbs that end in a consonant. We will talk later what is a consonant for those who do not know yet. And then we have verbs that end in a Vowel, and uh, of course we have irregular verbs. Your least favorite. Let's go to the next slide. Um, can anyone tell me what is a verb? Lenson, what is a verb? A uh, verb is like a part of the sentence which shows uh, an action or an occurrence uh -huh. or a state can you of give being. An example in Albanian. In Albanian. Uh, an example. Verb. Example, masoi, ka. Masoi. Yep. And that is uh, the verb to? To learn. To learn, that is correct. That is masoi. So it's a word that expresses the action. Uh, it is typically after the noun or the pronoun. A sentence can, of course, have more than one verb. Uh, it is good that those verbs uh, are connected by linking words, they all say, etc., etc. Kerry, do you know what a mood is? Uh, yes, uh, it it's. Oh, I have it the... here. I just noticed it. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> it's um, expressed by by the verb. So, yeah. like uh -huh. subjunctive, I want uh -huh. or imperative, commanding something. Yeah, that's correct. And the mood we are studying now it is called indicative. For example, on my ship, I learn Albanian. It just shows a fact, a routine. I I am learning Albanian. This is indicative. Other moods Kerry also mentioned is a sub, subjunctive. This is typically used, used with modal verbs. I want to go. In English, this you may know it as infinitive. That's subjunctive. In Albanian, infinitive, it's called in English. So to work, to live, to study, to do this, etc. That is subjunctive. Um, and also very common mood is in imperative, when you give commands, imperative, go, learn, watch, etc. that is imperative. This is a mood. We have other moods, but these are the most common ones. Uh, Elvira, do you have any questions? Okay, I'll take that as a no. Let's go to the next slide. Today we'll talk about verbs that end in a consonant. Matt, do you know what is a consonant in Albanian? Um, J. No, what is a consonant in grammar? What is a consonant in general? Oh, it's a, a letter that's not a vowel. Okay, that's correct. Uh, vowels are these in Albanian. A, A, O, U, uh, These are vowels. letters, except the consonant. So I have to mute one of them. Matt, can you please mute your microphone? And Elvira. Yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, these are the, the vowels. The other letters are called consonants. Uh, the other letters are called consonants, and we are going to talk about those endings. Now, let's start first with the verb pergatis, which is to prepare and pues to ask. Pronunciation is pues, pues. Uh, these are verbs that end in s, and the conjugation is as follows. Some of you may already know it. I'll write it for those who do not know it. The conjugation is un pergatis. That means I prepare. Ti pergatit. 
that is you prepare the next person is the same i i o per ga he she prepares let's go to the plural person ne per ga ti sin we prepare you per ga ti ni you prepare and they prepare ata ato per ga ti sin they prepare very unique fact about these verbs is that the plural you only the plural you has two forms you can either say pergatisni or you can say pergatisni like that so it has two variations i suggest you to use that one with s more it's easier to memorize since the plural is with s pergatisim pergatisni pergatisin However, both of them are correct in grammar. Any questions? Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's the verb to prepare. Well, regarding cooking, it is interchangeable with the verb gatuai, to cook, or boy to make. You can say pergatis. Po pergatis manjes, I am preparing breakfast. Un po pergatis manjes, I'm preparing breakfast. Okay, yes, it's also morning. Um, the negative form, you just put nuk there, unuk bergatis, I don't prepare. Um, continuous form, I am preparing, popergatis, here is the example, popergatis manjes. Okay, mir, that was the verb pergatis to prepare. Let's start with the verb puyes to ask. Uh, that's the verb. The noun version is puetie. That means question. This is the verb that we are going to talk now, which is puies to ask. The conjugation is as follows: un puies, ti puet, ai ayo puet. I ask, you ask, he she asks. Check out the second or third is still the same, just like forgot this. The second or third. Let's go to the plural. We ask, ne puesim. The next one, you ask, you puesni, ata ato puesim. The plural you has two forms, just like pergatisni, pergatitni, puesni, puetni. I suggest you to use that one with s because it sounds better. However, in grammar, both of them are very correct. That's the verb to ask, un puyes, un puyes, el son, nin, I ask, el son. Accusative case, a case that we have not studied yet, but the verb we have already studied. So, un puyes, el son, nin, I ask, el son, etc. Un po puyes, el son, nin, I am asking, el son. Nuk po puyes, el son, nin, I am not asking, el son. Okay? Is there any question? Do you have any questions? And I have one. Tell me. Uh, do we have two forms for the plural you only for the verbs that end in s? Um, only, only for this, not other verbs, not verbs that end in year, not for that. Is that what you mean? Not reflecting? No, I mean like all the verbs that end in oh, s. Okay. Not all, not all. We will see them in the next slides. Okay. All, such as the verb flas, it doesn't take that uh, t in, in the plural. We will see it in the next slide. It's in class irregular, actually. Uh, it, it, it is irregular. However, there are uh, other verbs very similar to, fla to flas, which means we can categorize it, we can put it in the same group with some other verbs. OK. Other it is irregular, especially in the past, because it becomes fola. It is irregular when talking about the past. However, in present, it is, it is irregular, but it, uh, it, is, um, uh, it is in the same group with some other verbs that we'll see in the next slide. Okay? Yeah. Any other questions? Okay, let's start, let's start with the next, let's continue with the next slide. Similar, exactly the same conjugation. Follow these three verbs I will write now. The verb should be, which means to hang out. Uh, to go out, to take a walk. That is the verb shutis. It follows the same conjugation, shutis. Uh, I'll write it here. We have space. Okay, there. Oh. Gloria, do you remember that? Yeah, um, shutis. 
היא שתית, היא היה שתית, משתיסים, היא שתיסני, היא או שתיתני, ואתה שתיסים. They take a walk. Un pochet is no park uh, uh, regarding negative and continuous form, the same as other verbs. Pop, continuous, no negative, etc. Uh, un pochet is no park. I am taking a walk in the park, at the park. Un pochet is no park. Okay? So this is a verb to hang out or to take a walk. It doesn't, uh, it, uh, there is no like purpose or a destination where to go, just in general to hang out with no destination. Um, another verb is must. Do you know what that is? Anyone knows that? Must? To wait something? Um, to wait is per shoy. Something to do with the sizes again. Yep, yep, yep. It is to measure. To measure, because pesho is only the weight, okay, pesho. Uh, to measure all the dimensions, um, etc. We say in Albanian mass. The conjugation is similar, like shetis. Uh, Un mass, i, mat, ai ajo, mat. I measure, you measure, he, she measures. Ne masim, you. Two forms, either masni or matni. And atato ma sin. They measure. Okay? These verbs typically are followed by a case that we have not studied yet. So to measure something accusative, it's a case that we have not studied yet. I will write an example here. Uh, un po mas, uh, po mas, um, zo, shtepin. I am measuring the house. That means I'm measuring the dimensions of the house. Okay? Po mas shtepin. Like that. Any questions? No. Okay, so that is mass. Um, he is, there is a very famous Albanian idiom regarding mass, which says mati fialot. Anyone know what that means? Uh, measure your words. Yeah, the meaning? Um, careful, what careful what you're saying. Yes, exactly. So think well or be careful what you're saying. Literally, it means measure your words. And measure your words. The meaning is be careful what you're talking, think well before speaking, etc. Uh, anyone has any questions? No questions, okay. Um, so this conjugation. Now, let's talk about some verbs that have similar conjugation, but not the same. So oh, these verbs have similar conjugation. Uh, let's start with press. Anyone knows the conjugation of press? Which means to wait or to cut? Uh, press, un press, keep three. Un press, keep press. Press, I am your press. Press, ne. Ne, press, pressing. Do. You press me. Or, or, Yes, that's very correct. So you please your please me and ata ato press him. That's a verb to cut or to wait. To cut with scissors, to cut the hair, press flock, etc. Or to wait. Uh, why it's a little bit different? Why it's similar conjugation but not the same? Check out we have a change of vowel there. So it changed to e, please me. The same goes to fleece me, flesh, flat, fleece me. They change the vowel in the you person. That's why it's similar conjugation, but it's not the same in that person. The rest is the same. Un presti, pret, I pret, ne presim, you pris me or pret me at a to presim. For press, for press, glorian, I am waiting for gloria. Okay, again, accusative, a case we have not studied. These verbs typically need accusative. Um, any questions? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Here's another example regarding cut. Ayo po pret That means she's cutting the hair. So her hair. She's cutting her hair. Ayo po pret flokot. Okay. Mir. Let's start with the verb sell. Uh, in Albanian we say shes. 
Again, it follows a similar conjugation, but not the same. The conjugation is as follows. Un, ches, ti, shet, ai, ayo, shet. That's the singular. The second, the third is the same, very typical for these verbs. Plural, we sell, ne, she, sim, you, shis, me. Check out, like, pris, me. Okay, you, shis, me, or you, shit, me, which is, uh, sounds weird in English. And ata, ato, she, sim, they sell. Uh, these two verbs are, uh, the conjugation is the same, but they are similar regarding the verbs that we just conjugated in the previous slides. Uh, Porsches, I am selling, nukshes, I don't sell, etc. This is the verb to sell. Any questions? Kerry, Gloria, Lenson, Matt? And no. Yeah. 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 No. Uh, this is a very famous Albanian idiom, mos shit man. Anyone knows the meaning or the literal translation? Don't tell your mind? Uh huh? Uh, Elvira? That means uh, don't show you as you are the best or something like this. Yeah, yeah, you are correct. So don't show off. The meaning is don't show off. Literally, it means don't sell. Um, Minds, which doesn't make any sense, don't sell mind or don't sell op opinion, whatever. The meaning is don't show off. And this shit is actually the verb shes, but it is in imperative, a different mood. Okay? okay. Any comments? Okay. <clears throat> Let's start with the next slide. Still similar conjugations, but not the same. <clears throat> We will start with the verb bertas, to yell or to scream, in Albanian bertas. The conjugation is <clears throat> un ber bertas, i bertet, bertet, ai, ayo, bertet. I scream, you scream, he, she screams, or I yell, you yell, he, she yells. <clears throat> um, we yell ne ber. Bertasim, Bertasim, you, Bertismi, Ata, Ato, Bertasim. I <clears throat> yell, uh, you person, you can put the, the one with the T there, but it's super rarely, um, hardly ever someone uses it, so Bertismi, right? So it's super rarely use that one. It's better to use that one with uh, Bertismi, okay? Um, that's a verb to yell or, or to scream. Po bertas, I am yelling. No bertas, I don't yell, etc., etc. <clears throat> now let's talk about the verb flas, to speak or to talk. Let's go. Matt, go ahead. Un flas, t flat. I yo flat. Ne flasim, you fleece me. Atato flasim. Very well. Atato, flasim. They speak. Now, this verb does not take the flitni form. Flitni. It is not correct to put that T there. Uh, this verb only has the sub. Flisni. Flasti, fet, I fet, ne flasim, you flisni. Check out how vowel changes from A to E and then to E in the U form. <clears throat> okay? Any questions? Okay, uh, Kiri, do you remember the verb to ask the first person? What was it? Uh, first, uh, first person. Um, yes, that's correct. I will write it here. Yes, that is the verb to ask. Uh, Matt, what is the verb to ask? Um. I'm sorry, you just said it. I wasn't paying attention. No problem. It's okay. It is pues. 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 That's correct. That is a question. Don't confuse it with puetie, which means question. Okay? Question is puetie. Un pues or un brenye puetie, I, I ask to make a question. Um, what is the verb to prepare Gloria? Do you remember the conjugation? Uh, po, 
purgatives, 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 uh, purgatism, purgatism, or purgatively, and purgatism. That's correct. Purgatism, that's the verb to prepare. Um, that is the, the basic formula. Let's go back to purgatives. There, there you go. That is to prepare. Do you remember? I think we have talked about it in the, the last lesson. Purgatitem. Do you know what that is, any of you, purgatitem? To get ready? Yes, correct. To get ready or to prepare yourself. So reflexive verb, purgatitem. To get ready, it's more like, it's in another one, vehem gati. It is again reflexive, which literally means to become ready, purgatitem. Purgatitem, it's more like to prepare yourself. Okay? Mir. Let's go to slide number, where are we? Okay, slide number eight. Verbs that end in other consonant except s. So s, those with s, we already mentioned them, how to conjugate them. Now let's talk about other verbs that end in other letters, other consonants. We'll start with the verb cup, which means to catch something, cup. The conjugation is as follows. Now these are very easy to memorize. Un, cup, ti, cup. I, I, yo, cup. I catch, you catch, he, she catches. And in plural, ne, cup, no, it's not cup, cup him, cup him, you, cup, me, ata, ato, cup, in. That's the verb to catch. So cup, 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 the first three persons are the same. Then you add those endings, those suffixes to the plural. Uh, ne capim, you cap me, atato capin. That's the verb to catch. Okay? Uh, negative, no cap, continuous form, pock up, etc., etc. Uh, exactly the same conjugation follows the, the verb chef, which means to cut the hair, chef. Uh, it's not the reflexive form chefem, to cut your hair, but it's chef, to cut the hair in general, chef. Uh, the conjugation is carry. That's correct. Atato chase Any questions, Elvira, Matt, Gloria, Benson, Daniel? No. Okay, Mia. Uh, the last one is the verb live. Live, it's either to tie something or, or something, yeah, or to connect, live. Uh, the same is, the conjugation is still the same. So, un live, and I'll make some examples then. Un live, he live, I, I, yo, live, ne livim, you live me. Ata ato, Lanson, the last person. Living, ata ato, living. So the first three persons are still the same, just like chat and cup, and you add the same endings at the very end. That's the verb to, to tie or to connect. Now, let me write some examples uh, using each one of them. One second, okay. Um, I catch. What can you catch? Um, give me a sentence in English. Uh, I catch the ball. Yeah, the house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly. I, I was thinking of that. I catch the cat. Um, un cap. Um, un cap, this verb is also typically used with accusatives. So, un cap, Martin, I catch the cat with an N at the end. Wherever you see that N is typically for accusative. It's a case that we have not studied yet, so at the moment memorize it like that. Un cap matzen, or cap matzen, I'm catching the cat, etc. Um, then chef, chef, the verb to cut. Uh, let me use another person. They are cutting their hair. Ata, po, chefin, flo, cut. They're cutting their hair. This verb is typically used for, so to cut the hair for men and not for women. For women, it's more like uh, chef, uh, sorry, press that we learned earlier, right? Press, flo, cut. Uh, chef, it's using that, that machine, I think it's called razor in English. Mm -hmm. yep. oh, yeah, using that one. Uh, we say chef, that machine does this kind of action, so chef, 
not for uh, for women. Atapo chest and shoulder, they are cutting their hair. Okay, and press is more for women. Atapo, atopo pressing shoulder. And the last one leads to tie. I'm I'm tying my shoelaces or I'm tying the tie, etc. Po leads uh, that means I am tying the shoes. The shoes in plural definite. Polit kapuzat. Okay? Or um, to connect, to connect your phone with the computer. Polit telefonin me compu. Hold on, comma, pa, ya, uterin. I am connecting uh, the phone with the computer. Okay? Again, this ends that I told you about accusatives. Any questions? Any comments? I have a question. I have a question. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Um, like, for example, lead. Um, un lead, key lead, I, I, or lead, they, uh -huh. they are all, all the same. Yep. So when you say co lead, coupet, coupet. Yep, coupet. Uh -huh. Sorry. How do I know that you're saying I and I'm not she or he? And not he or she or yep. Yeah, that is a good question. How do you know that? That is only regarding the context. Okay. And, okay. Yep. and or, so if I'm talking to you and I, and I say political putas, it's normally I, unless there is another person around, etc. Uh, okay. Or you have then to put unti or aiyayo in front of, at the beginning of the sentence. Okay. Other that makes sense. Thank you. You are welcome. Uh, other questions? Okay, let's go ahead to the next slide. We are on slide number nine. We are running out of slides and I'm accepting some que expecting some questions. Let's start with hub. So exactly the same conjugation. Exactly, not similar, exactly. It is hub, the verb to open, and the opposite, mbul, the verb to close. Let me conjugate them somewhere here. So un, uh, let me see, is Lanson here yet? Lanson, yep. Yeah. Unmute yourself and conjugate the verb hub. Lanson, let's start with uh, Matt. Matt, hub. Um, un hub. Um, before, before you continue, uh, it's very important to pronounce the P at the end because it sounds like you are saying I eat hub. Un hub. Perfect. Un hap, it's correct. T hap, go ahead. T hap, ai ai o hap, ne hapim. Correct. You hap me. Correct. Ata ato hapin. Very well. Ata ato hapin. That's the verb to close. Um, I am opening the door, or let me choose another pers person. Um, uh, sh she's opening the door. Ayo, again, still typically with accusative, with an N at the end. Ayo, po, hap, deran. She's opening the window. Ayo, po, hap, deran. Okay. Um, mir, any questions? Negative and continuous form the same as other verbs. The conjugation exactly the same like the previous verbs that we just learned. Any questions? Yeah. Okay, let's start with Mbul uh, and Hira. Um, you are muted. Unmute yourself. We cannot hear you. Um, Mbul. She's not here. Okay, Kerry. Okay. Mbul. Mbul. I, I, O, Mbul. Ne, Mbulim. You. Mbulmi, ata ato bulin. That's correct. Uh, that u sound is important, but also the you pronounce u very correct, but the double l, the same l as in all or double l. Okay, so mbul, mbul, mbulim, mbulmi, mbulin. Once again, just mbul, first person. Mbul. No, correct. Very well. I can't say star either, you know that. What was it? I can't say star either, and you know that. All oh, right, mm. yeah, yep, yeah. I know. So, Il, there is a star, mm. Um mm. These are the verbs. Do you, anyone remembers the adjectives for open and closed? Uh, Matt? Um, Hapni. No? Hapor. Abor and 
Bueller. Bueller. Hopper and Bueller. That means opened and closed as adjectives. What is an adjective? We talked about that in the previous slide. There are lots of free spaces. If anyone wants to join, if, if, everyone, if anyone is watching live from YouTube, go to learnalbanonline.net. You have the link in the video description. You can join. They, there are some seats available. Um, I will create another sentence with Bill. He, she's closing the door. I open Bill Darren. I open Bill Darren. Here's a very famous Albanian. It's not really a saying, but an expression. Bule. Anyone knows the rest? Goya. Yes. Bule Goyan. That means literally close the mouth. The meaning is shut up. Okay. Bule Goyan. No one, really, no one really says the opposite to open happy going, but only um, the mother would say to the child when she's feeding her happy going. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Or uh, hop, hop Rugen, like get out of the way. Yep, yep, that is the imperative mood command. Hop Rugen. Hop Rugen. Get, uh, literally to open the road, but to open your site of view so you can view the street you can see. So get, get off the way. Um, Mir, any questions? Okay, let's start with uh, other similar conjugations, but not the same. So these are similar to the verbs that we just conjugated, but not the same. Let's start with the verb yap to give. Um, the conjugation is un yap. Ti. It's not yap anymore. That's why it's a bit different. Is yap. Un yap. Ti yap. I, I, or yap. I give, you give, he, she gives. We give. Ne yap im. You yep me ata ato yapin. So it's similar like the verbs that we just conjugated previously, but uh, it's not the same. So the second and the third are the same. Then we have yep again there. The rest we have yap. Un yap ti yep ayayo yep ne yapin. You yep ni ata ato yapin. To give. If you say yap masim, that is a verb to drive, right, man? Mm-hmm. To drive? Messin? Yep. What is yap yeah. No, that's to give a lesson. Yeah, that is the verb to teach that is correct. To give a lesson or to teach. So yap nusim is a verb to teach. Just yap, it's to give. Uh, here's, I will write that one yap so it will be here. Here's also another very strange construction that we have. One second. Okay. So yap to give. And yap nasim, yap nasim, it's to teach. The conjugation is the same. Only yap will change. Nasim will remain the same. Un yap nasim, ti yap nasim, I yap nasim, etc. Here is a very strange construction that we have in Albanian. E, first person. E, yap makinas. That is the verb to drive. Yeah. Literally to give the car. To give the car, iap makinas. It's a very complicated verb uh, because the noun is also complicated. Um, uh, dative case and the verb iap, it's very strange if you translate it to English, etc. So in Albanian we say iap makinas. Plus iap, it's irregular in the past. It becomes dash, I gave, etc. So that's the verb to give. Okay? Any questions? Okay. In English, we'd say to give the car gas. So like when okay. you're stepping on the pedal, that's giving the car gas. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay. We have the same in Albanian. We say yepi, again, imperative, yepi gas. So it is like press the pedal, uh, drive fast, yepi gas. Okay. Yepi gas. Or, or yepi makinas. It means drive, start driving, drive, yepi makinas. That is imperative. That move that is typically for commands. Okay, yepi makinas. Um, the verb dal, also similar. Dal, it means to go out. And I'll write, rem um, remind me to write the idiom also later. So, un dal. Doria? Un dal ti dal. Del. Ay, ay, o del. Ne dalim. Ay, o dal. Gilni. Atato Dalin. Atato Dalin also. Again, similar but still not the same because with this ni here. 
Now this is similar. Now this is the same as flas. On flas, the flat, you flis ni, you dil ni. This verb is exactly the same. I didn't put it in the same slide because they they don't end in the same letter, so that's why. Um, un nugdal, I don't go out. Un podal. Now this verb is typically fo uh, followed by the verb by the preposition ga, which means from. So to go out or in English off of a building. Okay, for example, podal nga nga shtepia. Nga shtepia. I am going out of nga means off or from or by by home from home. I'm going out of the building to leave the building to go out of a building. Dal. Podal nga shtepia. Tell me. Or like a question, like ne dalim per cafe. Yes, ne dalim per cafe. We go out for a coffee. That is correct. Ne dalim per Cafe. That is very correct. Just dal, the meaning is to leave a building to go somewhere. So to go out of a building, dal. Okay? Dal has also another usage. Um, let me write. Okay, let me write the idiom first. Anyone knows that this is a very mean one. Dalsh, uh, dalsh, or you might see it with dalsh also, that one. Mensch. Anyone knows what that is? Gloria? Uh, sounds like a curse or something to me. It does sound like a curse. Um, it is a curse. <laughs> it does not that sound. Because it is optative, so... Uh-huh. It is optative. It's a wish. It's a bad wish. <laughs> it means, so I wish you drive yourself crazy. <laughs> and that's the verb dal there. Okay, Dutch mensch. I wish, wherever you see that sh or sh or whatever, that is wish. It's a, if it's a bad wish or good wish, that's another thing. Dalsh uh, mensch. I wish, that's like a tongue twister. Um, I wish you drive yourself crazy. I wish you go mad. I wish all those things. Any questions? Yep. Okay, Mir. Uh, or or here's, here's another one. Po, it's not a bad one. It's not really a bad one. Po, <laughs> Om Dalin, Gloria. Hold on. Om Dalin meant. Uh, I don't really know this one. Okay, okay. You use this idiom when you are super um, um, uh, pissed off or mad at something <laughs> or someone. You use this phrase when you are super mad. Uh, when you are super exhausted or busy with doing something, if you are at work, you're doing all those stuff at work, you say at the end, Pomodalin man, which means I am driving myself crazy. Again, the verb dal, okay? Literally, the, ma the mind is going out of my head. <laughs> okay, the other, of, the other usage of dal is to be in a photograph, to be in a photograph. It's a very common um, verb, for example, adalim na photography, literally means uh, shall we, literally shall we go out, but it doesn't make any sense, shall we go out in the picture. The meaning is shall we be, shall we uh, be together in a picture, shall we take a picture, basically. Adalim na foto? Okay. Or here's another, here's another one. Um, uh, for del shum bukur na photo photography photography that means you are looking very well in the photograph okay you are looking very well the meaning is you are going out which doesn't make any sense the literal translation okay so dal na photography first person is dal na photography sharpo ban po dal na photography i am taking a picture of myself Okay, of myself. Any questions? Any questions? Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, I hope your mind is not going out of your head. The last thing. <laughs> okay. Similar conjugation. The last verb that we will talk today is the verb mar. Mar it means to take. Uh, similar conjugation. The, the conjugation is un. Mar ti. Mer, I, I, mer. <laughs> I take, you take, he, she takes. 
נאמרים דו מרני אתה אתו מרין. I take, you take, he, she takes, we take, you take, they take. That's the verb to take, מר. Um, continuous form, פומר, I'm taking, פומר, פומר טלפונים, I'm taking the phone, I'll write an example here. Um, one second. Okay, so, פומר טלפונים. Again, with a very, a very typical that no at the very end, which means I'm taking the phone, accusative. פומר טלפונים. מר בוק. Yes, that, yeah, that is correct, mer book. Now, that is imperative, another mood, which surprisingly is the same as indicative, mer, take, mer. Be careful, mar is to take, but mar na telefon, it means to call, to call some, to call someone on the phone, mar na telefon. Okay, po mar na telefon, elson nin, I am calling elson. Po mar na Telefon Elson I am calling Elson. Okay? So, mar to take, but mar na telefon, it means to call someone. Um, any questions? I know one more. Tell me. Mar Mali. Okay, yeah, that's correct, Shumir. Uh, that means? To miss somebody. Yeah, correct. Uh, for example, here's a phrase in Albanian, no kamar mali, literally means, no, mali means nostalgia. Longing is taking me. Nostalgia took me, no kamar mali. Or nostalgia has taken me, because we have car there. Uh, that means I miss you, in one phrase, I miss you. I miss you. Okay? Um, I'll write a question for the view. It's not. It's a question. It's an idiom. I'll write it for the viewers, and I will not let you know in this lesson what it is. This is marshmallow. Literally, I wish you take the mountains. But to those who are watching it, and any Albanian is watching it, probably knows it. Knows what it means. Um, you can leave your comments below. Uh, you can guess there what it means. Anyone knows it here or no? Okay, Mir. Um, Mir, any questions? Is, which one is it? Marshmallet, I wrote it there. Marshmallet. Don't ask anyone. I'm sorry, so or you can add, What was it, please? No, it's not a bad one. It's not a bad one. No, no. It depends on the context. <laughs> okay. Uh, any questions? Yep. When will we understand the meaning of this one? Um, I don't know. I'll see. <laughs> Yeah. Um, Mir, anything else? Any questions? Any comments? We have 15 more minutes. Anyone wants to create any sentences? Anyone wants to show their notes? Okay, no one volunteers. I had the last slide, number 12. Um, there are some sentences there, and I want each one of you to, to translate them. Let's start with... Lanson, do you hear me? Yep. Okay, great. Yep. Can you translate the first one? We are. I po bogati da darken. I. He. Go ahead. He is uh, preparing darken. the dinner. That's correct. Darken is means the dinner again accusative. He is preparing the dinner. I po bogati darken. Instead of darken, you can write other meals. Uh, breakfast, for example, man jesin accusative, drekan lunch, drekan. Uh, he is preparing the lunch, etc. Uh, the next one, ayopo pret flokot. Let me see, um, Edvira, or she's not here. Kerry. Uh, she is um, cutting uh, the hair. That's correct. She's cutting the hair. I hope for Brett Flogot. Um, Elvira, the second one, can you change it to a question? Is she cutting the hair? Elvira? Oh, sorry. Gloria, sorry. Oh, uh, uh, huh? Brett, are you Flogot? Very well. Apo Brett, are you Flogot? 
Now, I'll remove those that are, uh, I'll highlight those that are, that are optional. I is optional and IO is also optional. You can just say pop red flow cut. Okay, pop red flow cut, is she cutting the hair? Mir, el soni po merë në telefon, Matt? Um, so El Elson is taking the, the call or is making a call. Oh, no, almost. It's the opposite of what you said. It's not making a call, but it's calling. So he's calling me or you. Elson. Right? You understand it? Yeah, yeah Elson, is, Elson is taking the call. Uh, so is it the same in English? He's taking the call and he's calling? No, so, it's okay. either you're making the call or you're taking the call. All right, so we use this one if my name shows up in your phone and you say Elson is calling. And you say to another person El Elson yeah. is calling. Yeah. Okay, do I have the right English translation, anyone? I, that's the correct one, but, uh, but that one that Matt said, can you say it again, that phrase in English? He's making a call. So it would either be Elson is making the call or Elson is taking the call. Okay, is that a question? Or it's another way how to say it. Is it a yeah, question? I guess what you're trying to say is Elson is calling me, right? Or like... yeah, yeah, that's correct. Yeah, it's calling me. But it's not, he, uh, he is making a call. That's another sentence in Albanian. It's not the same, that's why. Oh, how do you say that? Okay, yes, Elson is making a call. Elsoni. Elsoni. Po. Ban. Nya. Telefonat. Okay. Elson is making a call. Bunya telefonat. And Merna telephone, he's calling. He's calling me from a Merna telephone. Okay. You understand it? Mm -hmm. Yep. Mir. Um, the next one, um, Matt. Unyam Suez, the Yap Biology. Matt? Do you hear me? I cannot hear you. Okay, Carrie? Uh, uh, I, I am a, a teacher, right? Oh? No. Oh, I'm a well. teacher and I give biology or I teach biology, right? Correct. I teach. That's correct. I teach biology. Uh, if you have the word yap plus a word that indicates like either subject or lesson, etc., that means to teach. Okay? So I'm a teacher and I teach biology. Um, Gloria. Oh, here I didn't write math. That's an, there's another idiom there, but let's talk about it here. Gloria, Earth uh, Vogel, Nuk Mervesh. It is small, it doesn't fit me. Uh, yo, vesh, it means here. Oh, yeah, that's a noun. That's a noun. It means here. And he is little regarding a person, or he's vogel. He is little or small. Uh, and then, nuk mer vesh. Doesn't listen to me? That's almost correct. He means he, does, he doesn't. He is cor that is correct, actually. He doesn't listen to me or he doesn't understand. So, he doesn't understand. He's little, he doesn't understand. But it, it is the same one for he doesn't listen to me. He doesn't listen to me. It is the same one. Okay? Or he doesn't understand. First person is Mark Vesh. Literally, to take an ear but the meaning is to understand, okay? Uh, uh, do you understand me? Morevesh, did you understand? Morevesh, past tense, Morevesh, like that. Yeah, that's another idiom, to understand. Um, the last one, Lenson. Okay. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, the park every mor mor morning no evening uh, evening every evening we go to the park for the walk like we walk in the park go out with the friends well with their friends at the, at the park yeah friends at the to the park or at the park at the park 
that part. So dal is to go out or to hang out, me uh, shocked with the friends. The meaning is it is understandable by the context with my friends. At the park, no park. Jidom bramie dal me shocked na park. Every evening I go out with my friends at the park. Um, any questions? Yeah. Nope. Yo, Mir, anyone wants to create any sentences using the verbs that we just learned? Or has anyone created any sentences already? Anyone remembers I, any? Tell me. I learned the sentence long ago before I started taking lessons from you. And I think I tried to use it on you um, since learning. And you said it was not correct. Tell me. And it was you, Yepni. It was the sentence I had learned was, Tome Yepni Menum Yulutem. Uh, which is I was to you know okay to okay you. okay can you can you can you write it in the chat box can you spell it in the chat box because I didn't oh, hear God. it. Oh man, I can try. It's, okay, uh, take, a, take your time, no ta problem. Tama yepni. Oh yepni, okay yepni. So that's the verb yepni. And then what? Menun, you know. Menun. Oh right. okay okay I understand. So let me write it here. Okay. And, is, is that a question mark at the end or a statement? No, it's like a command. It's like, you know, Tema Yepni Menun. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yep. And then yeah. you. That means that uh, the meaning or what the person who wrote this meant is, or the Google Translator, because it's obviously the Google Translator, is give me the menu, please. Or I want you the menu, please. Uh, it is not correct because it means right. like. Uh, uh, to me, give the menu, please. Uh, or may you give? Uh, it sounds very, very strange. It's not correct to use that one. Tama yepni with te especially. If you remove te, then it is correct. If you put te, it's like to give okay. me the menu, please. To give me the menu, please, which doesn't make any sense, right? To give me the menu. So me so yepni me nun. Then it is. Okay. Cool. Thank okay, you. That means give me with the in front of it to give me the menu. It's not correct. Okay. Any questions? Uh huh. Could I, could I mention a different verb? Tell me. Yep. Um, heave. Right. What was it? Heave. Like heave at Chelsea. Oh, heave. Uh, to throw. Well. So okay. We did, yeah. we did to catch. So. All right. Oh yeah. Okay. So uh, uh, heel is a verb to catch. Heel back. Uh, throw it. Sorry. Heel to throw. Heel back. It's throw it. Heel back. And first person is head. I will write the conjugation in the dog. One second. One second. One second. Okay. Uh, let's go next to mar. Mar is to take head. We are talking about the verb head to throw. To throw. To throw something, to throw the cat. Don't throw the cat. <laughs> he has, uh, yeah, your head. The keys. Yeah, the keys has changed that. I will write an example and a sentence. Who has, he has, I have. Ne, he, vim. You, be careful. Heal me. Atato, he, vim. I throw, you throw, he throws, we throw, we throw, etc. Et et Let me write an example here. For head. Go ahead and to I am throwing the, the garbage or the litters. Go ahead. Head is to throw. Or you said uh, uh, throw the, the keys. Uh, this is imperative. So imperative it becomes heal or plural. Plural. Heavy. Throw the keys. No balcon. <laughs> No balcon, okay. Uh, throw the keys. He rejects us. Okay, other questions? Okay, uh, okay. Um, let me stop screen sharing one second. Okay, anyone remember, Matt, do you remember the verb to prepare? Uh, pergatis. That's correct. Kerry, do you remember the verb to ask? Uh, yeah. Correct. And Lanson, do you remember the verb to take? To take um, mar. Mar, that's correct. And the verb to give, Gloria. Yep. Yep, that's correct. Let me see. Someone wrote here. Okay, um, do you I did it in a minute. Can someone? Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you, Gloria, for helping. Perfect. Um, anything else? Any questions? Yep. Can I see your notes, Gary? 
Oh gosh, well, okay. Okay, one. Okay. Uh, I think Lenson was also writing. Okay, Liz, uh huh. Okay. There are many, many other verbs, of course. These are the, most, three. Common ones. the most common ones. Okay, Mir. Um, this video is recorded and it, it will be published on YouTube in a few seconds. And the next lesson will be next Sunday. So the date is next Sunday, 23rd of July. The next lesson at the same time, we are going to talk about verbs that end in a vowel. Okay? Uh, if you have any questions, you can join my Facebook group, Learn Albanian Online, or you can visit my website, learnalbanianonline.net. Is anyone coming to Albania this year? Me. Okay, are you excited? Yes. <laughs> no, she's not. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. Uh, from your reaction, you don't look excited at all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you are more. Uh, okay, this this was the lesson for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Rosh. Rosh. Palindai to you. Palindai. And thank you for joining. And I'll see you in the next lesson. I hope so. Okay. 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 Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.